So good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar. Today, we're going to talk to you about how we are helping theatres get online and create revenue during the COVID pandemic. Just a few quick housekeeping rules. We've got Dog available in the chat who will be able to answer any questions you've got throughout the webinar. And feel free to stick around after, even when the broadcast ends, as the chat will stay open. So a little bit about Ticket Co, in case you haven't met us before. We were founded nine years ago in Norway. Um, we've been working in multiple countries across Europe, uh, in the UK for the last three years, and now we are moving into the rest of Europe and further on to the rest of the world. Uh, the vision is to be the global standard for all events payments. And now we're a global company. All of the scaling that we've done from one country to multiple has been built on three values of honest, innovative and engaged. My name's Joe Edwards. I'm a global key account manager at Ticket Co. I joined the company around two years ago. And prior to that, I came into contact with the company through looking for a digital ticketing solution for my ice hockey team. Um, and when meeting the team, uh, having a look at the product and learning about the vision of the company, uh, I, I knew that I wanted to be a part of the journey. And here I am. So why are we here? The, the industry is nearing the point of no return and organisers are relying on government support to ensure that the doors will one day open again. In March 2020, it saw the birth of Ticketco TV, a pay-per-view and video-on-demand service that has supported organisers such as Wise Children, the South Bank Centre and Henley Festival, to name a few. Today, I'll be talking to you about what we have learned so far and hopefully give you some valuable tips on how you can use this opportunity to create revenue online. So is streaming a part of the future for live events? Let's look, take a look at streaming and why this is the right time for theatres and theatre producers to utilise it. Um, we'll start with the Golden Sachs report that was published earlier this year. It noted that uh, they foresee that the live streaming audience will grow by 400% by the year 2030, which is an astonishing growth. The key drivers for this report, um, millennials and Generation Z are spending more of their annual budgets on music uh, than any other age groups. The smartphone, as you know, is a huge phenomenon and, and has become a gateway for more experiences. And new payment solutions, business models, and the recognition of intellectual property are a foundation for the hyper growth. Of course, music industry predictions uh, are not necessarily transferable to theatre, but nevertheless, uh, it gives us an impression on how audiences are learning to adapt to a more digital culture for consuming entertainment. So if you look here, only 18% of the people asked are currently booking events. When asked if they were interested in culture online, 84% answered yes, and half of those were willing to pay for that content as well. When asked if they'd consider attending events once venues reopen with social distancing measures in place, 69% said they would not consider booking events for at least the next three months. So what are the organisers saying? We ran a survey um, across all of our partners to get their views on the future of online events. It was clear that there is a shift in the consumer behaviour and that there is a need for a significant reaction to accommodate the needs of the future. <clears throat> 34% of organisers, when asked if they'd started any streaming activity since the start of lockdown, responded yes. 43% of organisers said yes to considering streaming, future, streaming in the future, and another 15% were still on the fence, which widens the possible user group up to eight, uh, 58%. When they were then asked about hybrid events, which is um, one show with two delivery formats, so having live in-person events as well as streaming the same event online for an audience at home, there was a potential of 61% of organisers seeing hybrid events as a part of the future. So what does it cost to run a pay-per-view or a video-on-demand event? We had a look in the market, I investigated multiple different companies, and to us, there's, there's a few clear pricing structures. With a fragmented solution using a ticketing platform and a streaming platform that aren't integrated, there's usually setup fees, ticketing fees, and streaming fees, which equate to quite a lot of money. 
also large contractual agreements. Um, and I think organisers at the moment aren't really willing to, to commit to a length of term on this because it, it, maybe they're seeing it as a short term solution. So what we did at Ticket Co TV is we've offered a pay as you go solution with no exclusivity and it just takes a small percentage of revenue that you process. Everything we develop at Ticket Co TV is to, to really help our organisers create revenue again. Uh, when everything stopped in March, um, we dug deep and developed what we could to try and get our partners back on track. So what have we learned? Um, really important um, element is fragmentation. So when we developed Ticket Co TV, trying to eliminate a fragmentation was the key USP for us. So it's one solution, which means one customer journey. We forecasted that customers would be interested in watching on their TVs at home in high definition. Multiple viewing formats, so they want a choice. They don't just want a URL or a unique link. So with that, we developed an Apple TV app, an Android app, um, and more coming. Having upselling opportunities is a good way for any organizer to create secondary spend at their event. Um, although you're reaching a larger audience, imagine you could upsell them some merchandise or, um, or a meet and greet after the show. Using reports and Google Analytics to track your audience to optimize your events for the future. So what's the what's the best viewing time? When are people tuning in? Those sorts of questions are answerable. Discounts are a big part of successful online events. There's no urgency to book online events. We quite often see that booking takes place nearer the time of the, the show, um, which is fine, but it just means there is a different sort of marketing model to working with online events versus walk-in events. So using discounts and early birds and, and limited capacity uh, through an early bird option is, is a good way to do that. Having multiple tickets, so offer a wide range of prices to access the content. We've had organisers offering a five, 10 and a 25 pound ticket. And I guess if you don't ask, you don't get, but there is a big opportunity to talk to your audience that are supporting your initiatives. Um, and they are willing to part with a bit more money for the same content, but it's a really good way to, to understand the optimal price point for your customers moving forward. The customer journey has to be clean, and that links really to the fragmentation, but having a branded page from your website, a Facebook integration through iframes, um, this can really help ensure that the drop-off rates are low. And customer data is such an important part of streaming. So although reaching a, a wider audience and going global with your events from say a small theater in the Southeast, you can now reach a global audience, but if you can't capture the data, um, it's, it's a, it's a one-trip pony. Um, so it's really good to be able to harvest and then remarket to your audience. This is the customer journey. It's an example from a customer we, we've been working with. We just talk through how that looks. So you can purchase your ticket. It's a fully branded page. Then you get met with the upsell options and you can have multiple of these. You get an overview of what you've purchased. And then we ask for your first name, last name, email address and telephone number. We don't ask for passwords to try and relieve the strain on box office staff uh, with forgot passwords and also multiple entries into your CRM system. You accept the legal terms for us and you can add your own legal terms as well. And then you're through to the payment process. Once you've paid, you instantly get met with a booking page with a click link straight through to the URL, which meets you with a branded countdown timer until the start time of the show. And this has been really important. Um, the countdown time has been great to try and bridge the gap between purchase and, view and viewing. Um, we don't reach out to customers an hour before the show with a surprise link and, and, and let them figure out how to sort it out that late in the day. Um, they can actually spend the time in between purchase and viewing to work out the different formats they want to view on. And it adds a level of comfort to the customers before they reach out to support. So we've worked with a customer called Wise Children, which I want to just talk a little bit about um, how their shows went, how they find working with us, and also what their audience was saying. So this is Emma Rice, the founder of Wise Children. Partnering with Ticket Co TV opened this opportunity for us to perform again. There are no barriers to reaching existing audiences and new ones, and the cost is not prohibitive. Plus, the ticket sales function is combined with a streaming service, which makes buying tickets easy for our customers. 
So here's some of the feedback from the audience that we found on Twitter. Um, they left them wanting more. They were impressed with the performance. Some people wowed, couldn't believe the experience they just had via a digital event. Really sparked some imagination at home with people playing dress up and eating chocolate, which is great. And also managed to inspire younger generations to carry on pursuing theatre and acting. An element of nostalgia as well with people not being able to access the theatre for whatever reason. For a long time, some people have relocated to other countries. Uh, some people aren't in the financial situation to travel and, and attend theatre regularly. And now they are. And more importantly, I guess, uh, is this financially viable? And I think it's a really uh, great tweet here that I found. And it's congratulations to wise children for over 10,700 tickets sold for the Romantics Anonymous. There is an audience out there and for theatre and we will not be stopped. So in summary, uh, your audience is hungry for entertainment and are happy to pay for online shows. This is not just a short-term revenue stream. Audience feedback has been fantastic so far and TicketCo can work with you to deliver online events that suit you. Our customer success team can walk you through the process and ensure a, sex, a successful event setup. Thanks for tuning in. Um, there will be more from us and we'll keep you in the loop with anything that's coming up.